Hi, I'm Pete Placina, the Gadget Guy, and I'm here with the HP TouchSmart IQ525A. Quite a mouthful. Uh, look, this little baby's interesting. It's the latest in the TouchSmart range. TouchSmart because you can touch the screen to make it work. It's an all-in-one concept, uh, probably first popularized by the iMac, Apple's iMac, um, but everything is built in behind the screen. All the connectivity, uh, the, uh, the, the, of course you still have a keyboard and a mouse that you can work with, but um, I've got to say with a little bit of time on this, uh, you probably push the keyboard and mouse away and use your fingers most of the time. Okay, a little bit about specifications. 22 inch wide screen running at 1680 by 1050 pixels resolution. Um, and it's, um, uh, it's got five USB ports. Uh, it's a 2.13 gigahertz dual core processor, Intel dual core processor. Uh, it's a, a 500 gigabytes of RAM, uh, sorry, 500 gigabytes hard drive, four gigabytes of RAM. Um, and so it's reasonably well specced and, uh, and once you've got Windows completely loaded up on it, yeah, it runs pretty smoothly. Uh, now look, let me take you around the, the, the unit itself. As I said, you know, the key factors, let's get out of Windows and let's look at, at the TouchSmart uh, software. Um, really easy to access that. There's a little home button down here, press that and, uh, and immediately it brings up the, uh, the different um, uh, elements. Now, one thing I should tell you, while most people I've spoken to consider this to be a touch screen, it's actually not. Uh, the, you, you do tend to touch the screen because that's what you want to do. But in fact, the way that it works out what you want to do and where you're touching is uh, an array of, of infrared sensors and, uh, and beams that run uh, vertically and diagonally. And so when I put my finger on it and drag like this, um, it's reading what I'm doing. It's reading the motion of my finger across the screen, but just above the screen itself. Um, this is my Windows desktop down here. So these are all the applications that I have on my desktop. And, and if I wanted to go into the internet, um, it would be really simple. I just click on, on uh, Internet Explorer there. Um, if I wanted to play a game like uh, Spider, Solitaire, or Chess Titans, just click on that and then up it comes. But let's go back. This is the, this is the really exciting part. Um, the ability to move across a number of different things like photos. I can leave notes. Um, I can even leave video notes because there's a webcam up here. Great for video Skype. Uh, great for teleconferencing. Um, and, and really easy to use. I mean, that's the whole thing with the TouchSmart software. It, it really is quite easy to use. But let me give you an ex example of, uh, of what you can do. So let's just go into Photos. We've got it sitting there. So let's go into my Photos screen. Um, it's identified where I've touched. And now I've got my photos organized um, by date. So if I go back to my, uh, my January photos, which are here, um, uh, they come up in a, in a screen like this, and there's Tom Hanks. Now, if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to form a, um, and this is at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, earlier this year. Now, if I wanted to, um, uh, to, to make a slideshow, I could quite easily do it. So I tell it that I want to create a slideshow. Here are my pictures. Um, I'll clear all, all the ones that are there. And all I need to do is, is hit the plus button that's uh, uh, um, attached to each photo. So if I wanted to get a few of Tom Hanks, you can see it's flicking across into there and, uh, and there I've got his shots and, uh, and I've created a, a slideshow. If I wanted to work on the photo, I've got a few things I can do. I can rotate, I can crop the photo and again I can just use my finger. And if I wanted to crop, um, there I've got it and I could crop the photo in and adjust it like that. So I just get a close up of good old Tom. Um, and I've got custom, I can do landscape or portrait, I can crop it, and there's, there's the shot. So it's, it's really easy to put slideshows together, easy to organize your photos, and it's just great having them laid out on the screen like that. Um, okay, so I can go back a level. Uh, so the up button gives me back a level. I can go back to, uh, to the various other things I've got. Video now, um, as I mentioned, 1680 by 1050 HD resolution, 22 inch widescreen. It's great for watching movies. You can, can slot DVDs in. 
would have loved a Blu-ray player in it, but they can't have everything. So it's a DVD uh, player, DVD RW and DVD R recorder. Um, same with CD as well. Uh, so if I go into uh, go into all my videos, so I click here. Okay, um, I pick another one. Uh, this is an HD video, and again I go to full screen, and you can see the quality. So the deal with uh, with all in ones. Uh, is where well, you've got limited space and I, I actually think that you would probably see this ideally in a family room uh, where we could all you know access it uh, access our email um, access the web um, and and anywhere where there's limited space um, price point about 2799 and uh, you know it's it's not bad value for that uh, for what you're getting in this uh, in in this 22 inch screen and organizing your music is really easy too so we just click on the music tab uh, it loads up all the tracks that I've put in there really easy to rip your albums as well um, so let's go to total rock and here we go um, now if I want to put a playlist together and it says want a party of course I do uh, I just drag and drop out of here and I put my playlist together. So it's the top five tracks I want from here. Um, want to go back to another album. Okay, Delta Goodrin. Um, I'm going to put this in and a little too late, various versions. Okay, um, if, uh, fr from a little too late, the album. So if I wanted to play Riddle, there you go. It's that easy, just tap. Um, and I can save the playlist, I can clear it and start again. Um, it, it's just a great way to organise your music. And the sound's really good, built-in speakers. Um, it, it's actually surprising how good the sound is. Probably could do with a bit more bass, but you know, as from a computer, built-in computer sound, it's, uh, it's terrific. Um, it, now, actually, if I wanted to change the volume, it's just a drag. A bit of background music now. Um, so look, in, in terms of a multimedia computer, it's, it's really well equipped, it, it's uh, reasonably well specified uh, and uh, yeah, it, it, it works really well. Let me go back, okay Delta, I, actually I could leave Delta playing and I can, I can go back to my home so that it's in the background um, and I've got my controls up there. Um, Notes, really easy. I can handwrite notes. I can, um, uh, as I said, I can leave a video note if I want. Um, drag and drop, I, I can leave audio or video notes. Um, and, uh, and really easy to put together. And it's great for leaving notes for the kids when they come home. Uh, they, they almost inevitably drag to the computer. You can leave an, an audio note. You can uh, write on it as well or you can uh, type in. Of course, you've got the very necessary eraser. I'll turn Delta off. Thanks, Delta. Um, uh, so look, lots and lots of uh, features. The moment you want to go back to Windows, you just click on there and bing, there's your Windows page. As I said, very easy to access the HP software, the TouchSmart software on top. Um, everything is, uh, is, is really just drag and drop. Um, and you can have RSS feeds uh, flying into this. There's, there's lots and lots of different things you can do. The trick is, also to use a single finger when you're transporting all your um, material across. And again, uh, touching two fingers tends to confuse it a little bit. So uh, look, I think this is, uh, is good value for money. Um, it, uh, it certainly is a, a computer which uh, has a lot built into it. Um, everything around the sides, easy connectivity. And, uh, and I've got to say, I'm including, it's uh, also a five memory card uh, slots on it. So you can just take your, your memory card out of your camera, um, slot it into here and, and upload the photos really easily. Of course, there's USB, you can do that with your camera as well. Um, so look, um, I quite like this. Gets the up, uh, thumbs up from me. Actually, two thumbs up. <laughs>